Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyTabHacks.com So I'm gonna review, I got the review of the Overcom 10.1 series ROM um, The good thing about this ROM is it's very similar to in Paris and all the other ROMs like Starburst It's just as good I've got it running a per shoots kernel, overclock kernel Android 3.1 um, the good thing about this one is there's two different versions for P7510, which is the Wi-Fi version, and P7500 for the 3G version. Um, so I'll have two links below, and also the different kernels for each of them. Uh, I know when I first started the site, it's there was only Wi-Fi version, and then now there's a lot more options. But this is one of the only ROMs that comes with the two options for 3G and um, regular Wi-Fi. Anyway, uh, let's do a speed test real quick. I'll show you that I've got it overclocked to uh, 1.4 gigahertz. Uh, I'm gonna set it on performance for benchmarking, but set it on on demand for best um, battery life for real life. But for performance, we can just set it there, and it looks like I have quadrant right here. And let's run it, and let's see what kind of scores we get. Uh oh, did I freeze? No, I did not freeze. So it's still going. Just the IO is taking forever. What we really need is I think this is not based on extension 4 file system, the Tab 10.1, although the Galaxy S2 series are. That's what they gotta change. Um, let's see if. And everything will go faster, I think. Uh, It's I'm gonna expect around 2,800, maybe 3,200 quadrant scores, just because it's you know these all all of these ROMs are very similar to each other. I wouldn't say one's super better or not, just you know the lock up the draw. But but for those sorry for those of you with uh, P7500 3G, you can install this ROM. So I got 2812, very comparable to Starburst ROM. Um, so install this and Pursuit's overclock kernel, it just flash both. Um, install the ROM from the zip and then right after you zip the kernel um, zip file also. That way you can have best of both worlds. Anyway, check it out, uh, Overcom. Um, if you're having trouble with your 3G version, definitely install this and you should be able to get all your 3G functions back. Anyway, thanks y'all and subscribe. I'll have more cool tips and hacks for the Galaxy Tab hacks. See y'all later.